Yes, today I'll be attempting to solve Euclid code 371, which is sum of two integers. And the problem basically is that we have to add uh, two integers in the decimal base to each other without using the addition and the negative sign. So the examples are quite simple. We've been given two numbers A and B, and the addition is displayed as the result. So the only solution which I could come up with right now which perhaps is over of one in time, which I've thought it out, is this one using bitwise operators. So there will be two essential bitwise operators, XOR and single AND. So I'll explain that to you a bit. The XOR operator is very similar to the OR operator, wherein in the OR operator, if you have one of the bits to be one, the resultant bit is one. But the only exception to XOR is that if both bits are one or if both bits are zero, which means if both bits are similar to each other, then the X or resultant value would be zero. Uh, this is different from OR because when OR, uh, in OR when both bits are one, the resultant value is one. So we'll be using that because uh, of a very specific reason, we even, uh, when we're adding binary numbers to each other, then we kind of uh, have carries of one if we have one and one. So let's say over here, right? for adding 0, 1, 1, which is the representation of 3, and 1, 0, 1, which is the representation of 5, then the first, when we normal addition, right, the first 1 and 1 would yield a result of 0, and the 1 would be carried. So we need to make sure that that 1 and 1 gives us 0, and this is only possible through the XOR operator. And obviously, in other, on other cases, we need uh, ones. So we make sure that happens. And to store that carry, we need to make sure that we use the AND operator. And along with that, we need to also use the bitwise left shift operator by one. Because when we are, so let's say in this year example, right? We're adding one and one. Uh, the base is zero eventually. You're carrying over one to the left of this operation, which has happened here, right? So one is carried on there and you perform your XOR operation on that one with whatever is resultant uh, of these two. So, you have that one here and you, you add that one here that carry is separate. That carry is done over here and it's shifted to the left because we need the bitwise left shift operator. So we do that separately, the XOR operation and we do the single and operation separately. We combine them using XOR and we do that until the value of P is uh, zero. Once we have, once this uh, is not equal, like as long as it's not equal to zero, we know that it'll keep on adding. And as long as we don't have carries left over and the AND operator result is all zeros, we know that we've done the addition and post that we'll have the final result stored in the value of A itself, the new value of A. So I'll probably code this so you can understand better. We need to first, while, so while, um, because we're taking the condition with B, so we can say B not equal to zero. When that is true, then we can store a temporary variable containing the single and the bitwise left shift operator. So you have in temps equal to a and this is bitwise left one. And while that's true, we perform the XOR operation on the, we want this value of a to be changed. So we do that. So we have this. And while that is done, we store the value of b in temp. Right? because then temp has to be updated with the old value of a, not the value of a which we've updated it with. So every iteration, the x1 and a is performed, and that is again put over here, and this operation is performed, and b constantly stores that value, and we do this entire operation until the value of b, over, until the value of b is non-zero. So that's that's basically the entire algorithm, and we return a at the end, obviously, and we'll see if this works. This should work. So if I run this, um, we would get that, yes, it is accepted. And if we submit this, we'll also get that our submission would probably work out because uh, also like uh, the reason I've used Java in this case and not Python is because bitwise operators are much more efficient, uh, efficiently used in Java because it's not a 32-bit system, it's a 64-bit system. Uh, so we, it kind of works out well in this ecosystem. So that's why I think Java works out better. And as we can see that uh, the runtime is very, very efficient. It's zero, uh, practically nothing. And memory is 39 MB. So I think that that's extremely efficient in terms of the solution. 
um do let me know if you have any other thing in mind with respect to this uh left to no more solutions but yeah i mean if you're adding numbers in the binary uh, the only way it is uh, to get them without using the addition symbol is to use the bitwise operations and other operations we know of so in this case we had used xor and and we can use or and and too but i'm not sure how all will work because we need to carry the one of the operation of one and one right and have a zero eventually so it'll be difficult with or but i mean it's still possible so yep that was my take on this uh i hope you liked it thank you